Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to the January challenge, A Fragment of Your Imagination. This challenge was created by Seven Forests, Five Rivers. Um, you can find them on social media channels. You can also go to their website and they have a beautiful packet that has a lot of information about fragments and reticula. And then they have 31 prompts, a new fragment each day for the month of January. So they have a lot of beautiful examples of things that you can do with these. What I have done is created my own grid of 31 squares. It's on three pieces of cardstock. And um, each one I pre-drew some triangles, circles, squares, and seed shapes so that I would not have to stress about it. And um, this is what I'm using. If you would like a copy of this, um, you can click the link in this video, in the description of this video, and print it out. Um, or you can go to my Facebook page called Let's Tangle, and you can print it out from there. All right, so today is January 6th, and let's take a look at the fragment today. All right, today it says, this fragment is uplifting. Use simple auras as you build static. So if you get the link to this packet, you can click on the little blue word static and you can see the step outs on how to make this and you can see examples of how it's been used. So static is a Zen Tangle original tangle created by the Zen Tangle people. And um, this is just a fragment of it. So just a smaller section of a larger tangle. All right, let's grab our pens. I'm gonna zoom in here to day six. All right, and static is one of those that is rather simple and very calming and relaxing and a pattern that you can add to anything. So I'm gonna do it right here and I'm just gonna go across this way and I'm gonna start in the middle of my circle. And I'm going to make a zigzag, but I want to vary how tall or short the lines are. So I'm just gonna go like that. And then we do auras. So I'm gonna do some auras on top. An aura is just a line that goes along another line but a little ways away from it. You can also do this and lift your pen a little bit every once in a while. And it gives this cool effect of maybe a little bit of a reflection. I'm gonna do it this way on the bottom. Lifting my pen every once in a while. And you can fill the whole space or you can just do a little bit of the space. That's pretty cool. See, rather simple. Okay, I'm gonna do it again down here, but I'm going to extend it outside of the fragment. So I'm actually gonna begin over here And I'm just playing around with this idea that the fragment can be extended. I can also lift my pen every once in a while to get that effect of some light landing on it. Can aura above or below or both. I like how that goes right off the edge or right over the edge of the fragment. So that is static. That's essentially all you need to do. 
So we're gonna play with it a little bit. And one thing I'm gonna do is at the end of static where I've got these little lines just sort of ending, I'm gonna add in some details. So I'm gonna add in some fescue, which is what we did on day two, I believe. And then I'm just gonna do a spiral coming out of this one. I'm gonna add some weight and thickness to one side of that spiral. Isn't that pretty? I also thought it would be fun to add another circle. And I know circles are tricky and they're not perfectly round when we try to hand draw them, but that's okay. But I'm gonna add a circle right beside that one. Just because I like the idea of this static hitting some circles and maybe missing others. I'm gonna add another one right here. And then that one, I'm just going to put a little reflection maybe on this one as well. And now to fill up this tile, I'm gonna add some more circles. So you can put these wherever you would like. And that's more of an oval, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about it. And I'm going to play around with different directions. So this one's going to go a little bit at an angle. And I'm going to fill up this whole circle for this one. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a little one right here. And I'm going to do that zigzag pattern going up and down. And I'm going to do one more, just kind of taking up this corner over here. And for this one, instead of doing a zigzag, I'm going to do a wave. And I'm doing it a little bit at a diagonal just to change the, the direction of these patterns. What do you guys think? That's a fun one. When I think about Zentangle, like I really love some of the really complicated, intricate, fancy ones, but I also love, love the ones that I can just sit and doodle and find that sense of calm. And this is one of those, static. And I love it in a circle fragment. You can also put it in a triangle or a square fragment. Um, lots of options. And because I have some fescue and some little curls happening, I'm going to add a few more. Just coming out from between these little round marble-like things I've got going on. I think that's all I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to pick up my pencil now. And to shade these, I'm just going to add some graphite around the inside edge, right up against that edge, all the way around. And when I take my blending tool, I like to point the edge against the line that I put the graphite on 
then I'm pulling it out towards the center. And look at how that gives it a little bit of a, a rounded look. So I'm gonna do that to each of these, just put a little bit of graphite on that inside. These would be really fun to turn into water droplets. I believe I've got one of my 15 minutes of Zen videos that shows how to do that. And lots of people online show how to do water droplets with pencil. Whenever we shade, we're hoping that we keep the darkest against that edge and that it gets lighter as we head towards or head away from that line. I love how adding this little bit of shading makes the whole piece look less flat. And this one I feel like got really light, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Around the edge. There we go. They do kind of look like water droplets. I love how this looks. This is Static by Zentangle. And um, we'll see you tomorrow for January 7th. Thank you so much for following. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.